it's interview day. I had to come print off my cover letter because I didn't print it off last night when I was printing off everything else. But what's up you guys, it's Charlie. Um, I'll do another intro after I'm decent looking. So now I'm about to get in the shower and do my hair and makeup and I'm starting to get slowly nervous and Let's go. I'm clean. Now I need to hurry up and do my hair and my makeup. I don't even know what time it is now, but I am trying to get to the hospital like 30 minutes early, maybe even earlier because I was supposed to go look at the hospital yesterday, but my car started having problems so i had to take it to the shop and get it fixed yesterday so i don't exactly know where i'm going i got the directions but i don't know where i'm going inside of the hospital as well as i'd like to so i gotta make sure i get there super duper early so yeah let's put on this outfit put on our makeup and definitely need to eat some breakfast so i went ahead and put on my outfit but i have my robe on over it so i won't get makeup on it i'm running a little behind schedule Okay, so I did something really quick with my makeup. I still have to put on stuff on my lips, but either way, I just want to do something really simple and now I have to hurry up and do my hair. Secret Bare Vanilla and Bloom. Um, it's really light. It's not too heavy because I don't want to like overwhelm anybody's like nasal passages with my scent. So. Freak. It'll be fine. I'm wearing a blazer. It's fine. No big deal. Calm down. sure it looks way more professional closed, so. Hi, my name is Charlie. Oh, okay, so it is 8.40. My interview starts at 9.30. It takes about 10 minutes to get there, but I want to make sure I'm there like 45 minutes early because it might take me 15 minutes just to park and to find where I'm going, and then I want to be there 30 minutes early, just waiting. So, yeah, let's go. I'm, uh, so I'm in the car waiting for my interview, and the lady, in front of me in parking cannot figure out how to use the machine and it is 8 51 and i'm trying to get there inside at nine because i want to be 30 minutes early Whew. i'm stressed i'm stressed. nine o'clock i'm just not getting out of the car this is why you don't talk about people because i had a problem at the gate too because it wouldn't take my quarters it wouldn't take my dollars it wouldn't take mixed change so i had to go like look all over my car just to find all the quarters that I needed because it wouldn't take a couple dollars and some quarters and it wouldn't take my card my debit card or my credit card but I'm about to run inside <gasps> oh I thought I left my portfolio I was about to die all right I'll talk to y'all afterwards
Okay, what's up you guys? I look greasy faced and gross right now, but I got on my interview. It literally took probably less than 20 minutes. I feel really good about it. She said a lot of great things to me and she was boosting my head up, not gonna lie. But she said, one of the things she said was like, she, I was talking and just talking about like how much of a passion I have and how much I can't wait to like have that patient interaction, how much I like to just help and help other people and she was just like she was just staring and she doesn't say anything so i stopped talking because i thought i was talking too much and she was like she just looked at me and she said you're gonna be a great rn one day and i honestly like teared up right there in front of her it was amazing i need to get somewhere with better lighting because i look greasy but um yeah honestly it was just amazing just to hear her say that and like I'm not saying she never said I had the job so she said she has one more interview to do but she'd be calling me and letting me know what the base rate was and I feel like she was saying little things to let me know that I had the job but we never like you never know until you know until I get that phone call like you never know but um she was saying it's gonna be more like a tech retary job like I'd be doing a patient care tech but I'm gonna be helping the staff nurse staff nurses and the charge nurse at the nurses station so mostly it's going to be a desk job but i'll also be helping most of the techs and the nurses by answering call lights and things like that which is fine i don't mind a desk job which i feel like is why they wanted to hire me in the first place because in my resume i have a lot of um receptionist experience because that's what i do for the military so the military helped me get this job i mentioned the military a lot in my interview and she loved that um she honestly made me feel so good about myself. Even if I don't get this job, I feel absolutely amazing. Because, like, like just her saying those things about me, like, I know this is what I want to do. And she says she can tell that, like, that I have a passion for this. And I'm, like, so thirsty to learn anything that they can teach me. I'd really appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm about to go home. So, on the way over here, I was just listening to my church music and all the good gospel and just and i just went in i felt really confident going in and i'm gonna make another video if i get the job on the questions she asked and everything like that um at the end of the interview she got one of the nurses who was sitting in on the interview it was a two-person interview me the nurse manager Continuing and to first avenue north thanks siri me the nurse manager and one of the floor nurses who had been there for like five years i believe it was so she got the floor nurse to take me on a little trip to see the floor and i'm really excited it is a pre-op floor and i'm i honestly cannot wait i feel like i got the job I'm not trying to be cocky i just feel like like one thing about me I tend to get really worried wondering how like what people think about me and everything like that and I have social anxiety but I am still a really personable person I feel like they actually really like me which is nice um but the thing is when I came out of the interview I just felt peace and I feel like that's one of the things I've always prayed for like I don't need the stress I don't need the worry it is what it is honestly right now I just feel peace not saying I feel peace so I know I got the job I feel peace because I prayed that God would give me peace I did all that I can do my resume speaks for me um, who I am as a person right Siri shut up north. who I am as a person speaks for me and I just feel like overwhelming peace and calmness over me I don't know it's just something I prayed for and that's what I got so I don't know if that means I got the job but it means that my prayers were answered i don't want to be sitting here high strung thinking about it the whole time thank you guys so much for watching this i might end up throwing in a clip from no telling how long it could be when they tell me if i got the job right so today is the 20 24th today's the 22nd i will update you guys when i find out what happened